Welcome back everyone. I've been tinkering around again. I've been experimenting with the Firebox Freestyle and I've been playing around with wood pellets. I quite like using wood pellets. They're a very efficient way of getting a relatively clean fire. They're easy to transport and they work very well once you get them going. Any of you out there who have played around with these pellets, you'll know that if you pack them too dense or you pack them too deep, you can't get any airflow circulating through. So they tend not to burn very well or the whole thing goes out and you just end up with loads of smoke billowing out the top. I found that the pellets, they work best in little wood gasifier stoves, such as this original Bush Buddy. I found that if you fill this up to just below the air intake holes, once it gets going, it burns absolutely beautifully and cleanly. When I say cleanly, I mean relatively cleanly. You're always going to get some soot. That brings us nicely on to the Firebox Freestyle. It's got loads of ventilation holes and so it allows masses and masses of air through. However, there's a slight problem. I watched a video by a chap called Mark Young and he's what I would call a fellow stoveaholic. And he had a similar idea to use wood pellets. But what he did to get over the grill situation was he engineered a small plate there and drilled loads of holes through it. And that was quite good, but I wanted to go one step further. So what I did was I got one of these empty coffee tins and I cut the bottom off, cut the top off and put the two halves together. Then I drilled loads of holes in the side and loads of holes in the bottom. And my theory was that if I held it inside the freestyle, or this, I was hoping this would work on a firebox or just about anything else that it'll fit in. The theory was that after this is filled up with pellets, I could light it and there'll be lots of airflow. There'll be airflow coming up underneath. There'll be airflow coming in from the sides. It would basically just suck air pretty much in a way like a wood gasifier. So I lit it up and I tried it out. And it was a complete and dismal failure. I'm still not getting enough air through into this. So I've come up with a plan B. So what I've come up with is I've got a little bit of garden wire and I've bent it around. And I want that to help block some of the gaps there, reduce the size. And I've got me little half a can I'm going to put over the top. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to have masses and masses of airflow now. So it should work. But there's no guarantee of that. I've not tried it yet. If this does work, what I'm going to do at some point is make an upgraded version. The idea of having this centrally is to concentrate the flame. I only want the flame coming up here. So when it spreads, I don't really want it overlapping too much. And the first test would be, will it hold pellets? Nearly, needs a bit of work. the ideas there let's take it outside and set fire to it this is a piece of wax block that I made so you can get into light that didn't work very well let's try something else
that's better. I think I overdid it this time on the fire starter block, but at least it should get going. I hope you can see from that that the fire starter's burnt off now, and this is trying desperately to act as a wood gas stove. We've got air coming up from the bottom, and we've got air coming in from the hole to the side. It's starting to do everything I wanted it to do. I've got a controlled flame in the middle and there's no wastage around the outside. Very pleased with that so far. You can see from that that we've got the little gas jets coming in now and we've got a nice concentrated flame in the center. I'm actually pleased at the way this is turning out. From this I can see ideas where I could make a few improvements for, shall we say, a Mark II version. Now I know there's a lot of clever people out there watch my videos. If you've got any ideas for any improvements, please let me know in the comments and uh, we'll learn together. Well, that's been going for about 15 minutes now. You can see how beautifully he's burning in the centre there. This has been one of those crazy ideas I had in my head and tried to make it reality. That's all for now. Info shed out.